Okay, and continuing, uh, I'm, uh, this is another video on off-the-road peptides. As I said in previous videos, peptides are short chains of amino acids. There, there's a lot of them, and they're very, very popular. Uh, all of them are experimental. There's almost no human research on any of them, with a, with a couple of exceptions, but mostly animal and uh, test tube studies. Nobody knows the long-term effects. Uh, the, they're not sold by legitimate pharmaceutical companies. They're sold by internet companies. You don't know the extent of quality control. You don't know the extent of purity. You don't know the, uh, ex uh, the extent of even whether it's real or whether the potency matches the label. Those are the negatives. Uh, there's a lot of, um, you'll see there's dozens of video videos on YouTube extolling the benefits of these various peptides. Uh, there's a lot of big claims made for them. They burn fat and they cut out your appetite and they uh, they do everything. Uh, you know, they slow, slow the aging process. Just the, you name it, and they supposedly do it. However, this is, again, there's no human evidence for this. It's, uh, it's mostly animal evidence, and the animal evidence, as I said in past videos, isn't always uh, applicable to human physiology. Well, with all these caveats in mind, I'm going to discuss another one. Uh, now, this particular uh, peptide, uh, unlike the, some of the others I discussed, most of the peptides, again, because they're just short chains of amino acids, uh, they have to be injected, most of them, to be effective. Co a couple of them, like uh, BP, uh, what was it, BPC-157, that comes in injectable in oral form. But the injectable form is much more efficient than the oral form. That holds true for most of these uh, peptides. Now, the one I'm talking about today is a rare exception to the rule. It's called dihexa, D-I-H-E-X-A. Uh, and this, this is one of the few peptides that is effective orally. Uh, and it's, uh, what it is, it's a cognitive enhancer. In other words, it, may, it increases your brain power. Uh, it's a smart, you can call it a smart drug. Uh, what it mainly does is it, it, tar it, it, it increases the formation of synapses. Synapses are the little, um, the little, the spaces between neurons uh, that transmit neuronal messages. Uh, so it, it makes your brain more efficient in that sense. Uh, it's a it's a synthetic peptide and has a, again a tremendous effect at uh, enhancing what they call synaptogenesis or the formation of new connections between neurons. Uh, which is very, very important for memory and, and memory loss. There's a possible use for this particular peptide in treating Alzheimer's disease, traumatic brain injury, such as that suffered by athletes, wrestlers, boxers, mixed martial artists, and also for anyone who supposedly wants to optimize healthy cognitive performance. Now, it comes in tablets. It comes in uh, 5 milligram, 8 milligram, and 10 milligram is what I've seen. Uh, just for the heck of it, I, che I checked on Amazon actually sells it. Uh, the one on Amazon, uh, there's one only one brand they're selling. It's 60 tablets for $118. And that's about the average price. The average price of Dihexa, the tablets, again, most of the potents are, are about 5 milligrams. They average about $100 for 60 tablets. So this stuff isn't cheap. Uh, so it, it was actually developed by researchers at Washington State University. And what it is, it's a modified derivative of something called angiotensin IV. And that's a component of the ren renin angiotensin system that's involved in blood pressure regulation. And for some reason, which I'm really not sure of, it also affects cognitive or brain function. Uh, the hexa was engineered to be able to cross the blood brain barrier. The blood brain barrier is the protective uh, uh, barrier of blood vessels that prevents toxins and substances from entering the brain. Uh, so most substances uh, cannot enter the brain because of, the, including nutrients, because of the blood-brain barrier. This particular thing can actually uh, bypass the or cross the blood-brain barrier. And uh, once it does that, it promotes synaptic connectivity. In other words, the formation of new synapses uh, that's involved in learning and memory, uh, especially in the hippocampus and cortex area. The cortex area is, is the seat of intelligence. The hippocampus is the seat of memory in the brain. So you could look at uh, dihexa as kind of brain miracle grow. Uh, it's, it's like a fertilizer for the brain, basically. Uh, now, what it does is uh, it, it's, it's, it's classified biochemically as a, as a hepatocyte growth factor mimetic, HGF. In other words, it mimics the activity of a hepatocyte growth factor. 
that's a protein involved in cellular growth and repair. Now, uh, dihexa binds to the uh, C, what they call CMET receptors on neurons, which simulates the formation of synapses. It promotes neuroplasticity or you know better brain nerve connections, and enhances long-term potentiation, which is the basis of learning and memory. Uh, it's very powerful for neuro, uh, very powerful substance for neurodegeneration. Uh, like I said, it crosses the brain barrier. It's, uh, the animal studies show that it improves memory formation and recall. Uh, it also can possibly reverse cognitive de de uh, decline by stimulating new synaptic connections. It can possibly treat diseases like Alzheimer's disease, mild cognitive apparent, uh, impairment. That's like what they call senior moments, which is not full dementia, but as people get older, they have slight memory impairments, you know, where they forget where they put their keys or where they park their car or something like that. That's called mild cognitive impairment. And it doesn't mean that these people are going to get dementia or Alzheimer's. It's just, it's a natural uh, part of aging, actually. But uh, this stuff might actually help that. Uh, and it also helps the regular, the usual memory decline that accompanies aging. Uh, it can also be used for uh, to treat stroke patients who might have suffered some neuronal damage or brain damage after a stroke. So uh, neuroplasticity is basically the brain's ability to repair it or rewire itself. Uh, Dihexa accelerates this process, uh, and it's vital for learning, recovery from brain injuries, and adaptability. Uh, it also seems to uh, reduce neural inflammation in the, in the brain. Uh, inflammation in the brain is an inter integral part of neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. So this stuff, dihexa, might also help to protect against that. Uh, so um, let's see, what else can I say? Uh, I think I, uh, it's good for possibly students. It will enhance learning, memory, product productivity. Uh, it seems to have some applications for treating depression, PTSD, which is uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, where a lot of soldiers suffer that. And they think it might be able to be, uh, be useful for that. Uh, the starting dose usually is in 5 to 8 milligrams once daily. You can take up to 16 milligrams daily. They, usually you cycle it for 30 to 90 days. <coughs> uh, the known risks... Some people who've used it say they have mild headaches, irritability, or, and temporary insomnia if you take it too late in the day, too close to bed. Uh, now, because it's involved in this, uh, what they call CMET signaling, which is gro uh, cellular growth, it's involved in some types of tumor progression or cancer. So this stuff should be completely avoided by people who have active cancers or history of past cancers. They should, anything to do with cancer, you've got to avoid this stuff because it stimulates cell growth. And cell growth is a, uncontrolled cell growth is a hallmark of cancer. So uh, it can be used with various supplements like coenzyme Q10, omega-3, B12 and folate, magnesium. All these things are synergistic with dihexa. Uh, usually begins to uh, work in about one to two weeks. Uh, you get the full benefit after about two months. Uh, so it's, um, it's the safety data on uh, dihexa is very limited. Uh, because of that, most of, uh, of those who know about this stuff suggest cycling it 90 days on, 30 days off, something like that. So uh, that's about it. I think for dihexa, uh, it's it's uh, actually pretty good. I mean, it looks pretty good. I mean, this this is this could very well be a real true smart drug because if it does. In, the, in humans, what it's been shown to do in animals, it can basically more or less rewire the brain. So it, it's very good, especially for those uh, over 40 who are beginning to show, let's say, slight mental deficits. As I said, brain fog or senior moments from you know, mild cognitive impairment. I think it can be very useful for that. However, uh, as I said in my other video, uh, I, I am tempted, I, I will admit it, I am tempted to try this stuff. However, you know, I don't really trust the, a lot of these companies. I know you don't know who's behind them. You don't know the level of quality control. I don't even know if I'm getting the real stuff unless I pay to have an expensive lab analysis of the product. I don't even know if I'm getting the real. Uh, if, if, if I ever encounter a company that could, uh, could prove without a, a doubt 
that they're selling the real stuff, I would be, I would actually try this stuff. This is the one peptide I'd probably try because anything that would help, I'm, I'm very big on, on uh, nutrients and substances that can increase brain power. And this stuff is in that category. So, so that, well, that's all, I'll just leave it at that. Uh, you know, you don't hear much about dihexa, but you know, it, again, it's strictly for brain power. If you want more information on nutrition, exercise science, anti-aging research, uh, ergogenic aids, hormone therapy, supplement science, which supplements work, which ones don't, uh, women's health and fitness, effective fat loss thinking. So all of this is covered in my Applied Metabolics. 30 to 40 pages, comes out on the first of every month. No advertisements, not trying to push any products on you. Uh, it's pure information. It's a fantastic source of information, extremely in-depth. It's written in magazine style. It's not written like in a heavy technical style like some of these other digital uh, publications which offer good information, but they're written like they're doctoral dissertations. They're kind of hard to understand. You don't have that problem with applied metabolics. I have over a half a century of professional writing experience, so I know how to write for the public. So subscribe today at AppliedMetabolics.com. When you subscribe, send me an email, and I'll send you an invitation to join my private Applied Metabolics Facebook page, where each day I post new information on nutrition, exercise, and general health and medicine. I also have an email portal on my Applied Metabolics webpage, where current subscribers only can send me short questions about anything they read in Applied Metabolics or anything that interest them related to exercise and nutrition and I will answer their question in appreciation of their subscription. So uh, what else can I say? Uh, if you uh, also can cons please consider subscribing to this channel. I, I post a new video every Tuesday. Again, you'll probably notice it's no frills, nothing fancy, no fancy graphics. It's just pure, absolutely true information. Uh, I'm not pushing any products. I'm not offering, you know, use my name to get a 10% discount. Those guys are all shills for companies. Uh, you really can't trust with a lot of things they say. Uh, they actually, in some of the videos, they actually put the products in their videos. It's so obviously a commercialized video. Uh, my videos are not commercialized. They're just pure information. So if that's what you want, by all means, please subscribe and let others know about the existence of my channel. If you want to have the best friend you'll ever have, go to your local shelter and adopt a dog. They are the best. Thank you for listening.